Hello guys, welcome to another video um, on my channel. This one's gonna be a bit different, it's not gonna be about VR. Um, or it's going to be about um, an operating system, something more technical. Um, doesn't really matter, but this is a tutorial on how to use Windows 8 and 8.1 safely and correctly in 2025. So let's get straight into the video and let's not waste any more time. So step one is going to be security. Now for security, I'll go ahead and open your web browser, okay? Now in your web browser, you're gonna go to the top and then search for legacy update. Legacyupdate.net to this website. Click on set up legacy update. Click on install legacy update. And boom, we now have a legacy update exe. If we were to open this legacy update exe, which we're supposed to do, um, it's gonna say welcome to legacy update, select what you, what you would like legacy update to do, an internet connection is required to download additional components from Microsoft, your computer will restart automatically if needed to close all other programs before continuing. Now, go ahead and install this, and it will open an internet explorer window. And it's going to scan for any updates, and this is just going to make sure that your Windows 8.1 is on the latest version. They have every update installed. So what we're going to do is open a new tab and type in Bypass ESU Blue Patch. Now the first link here is going to be uh, My Digital Live Forms pa uh, page, which we're going to open. And we're gonna go ahead and sign up. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but basically, once you sign up, um, there's gonna be a download link somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's this one down here. But yeah, that's basically how you get the file. And yeah. And it's gonna be a 7 zip file, so make sure to get 7 zip. Um, down here, 7 zip. Open a new tab, 7 zip, right here, download. It works with every Windows version, regardless which one it is, so I'll just download it. Just download 7 zip and unzip the file. Now, mine is right here. Going to right click on liveos setup.cmd, click run as admin. But um, before you do that, actually, before you do the whole bypass CSU blue thing, there's still another step that is pretty important. And that's the Windows 8.1 SSU update. Probably gonna need this one, I assume. And how to actually get this update? Uh, it's pretty simple. Open a new tab. Type in Microsoft's update catalog. Enter the catalog. We're going to paste in the update code that we have. And we're gonna get this one right here. We're gonna need to download this one, so click on download. And then just click on this link down here, and that will give you the update. Now install this update, reboot your PC, and once done, you can actually go back to Bypass ESU Blue. Right click, run as admin, accept, uh, proceed with the installation, and you now have access to Windows Server 2012 R2 updates. Basically what this means is you can get updates on Windows 8.1 until 2026 and you'll be completely safe. Now how we're going to do this is if we go back to the Microsoft Update Catalog and we type in Windows Server 2012 R2 um, and then if we narrow it down to security. 
will actually give us these updates here. Now I'd recommend getting most of them, but this one right here is pretty important since it's a monthly quality roll up security. This is the type of update you're gonna be have like you're gonna be looking out for. Like it's pretty important to get the monthly roll ups. So this is gonna be our priority since it's the security monthly thing. And it's gonna continue until 2026 since that's when Windows Server 2012 R2 security I mean support ends. So you'll be safe uh, while using Windows 8.1 for a few months until 2026, so yeah. If you're missing some drivers for your things, just go ahead and search up uh, your computer name and then the drivers. So basically my computer name is Dell XPS 15 9 5 30 2013 model there's two there's a 2023 model and a 2013 model right here support of yeah end of life and then in the drivers down here there should be a list yes right here select drivers and here we have all of the drivers Most of the drivers for the computer as you can see now we're going to move on to programs now for discord we're gonna we're just gonna discuss discord and steam okay since that's probably the main things that people are trying to get now for discord we're gonna search discord windows 8 internet archive now here, um, I'm going to browse a bit, so if I click on this, there's also this link down here. It isn't the one I meant, but it's the same version, so it doesn't matter. So you're going to get this um, exe, depending on what architecture you use. And this, I'd get this one right here, probably. Um, since you're probably on 64-bit, if not, then choose this 32-bit one. But yeah, uh, just install it, uh, log on to Discord, and that's it. But for Steam, it's going to get a bit more complicated here. So for Steam, we can actually go to the official Steam website and download the recent installer. Just like that, just like you know, normally would. Now open the installer going keep installing I already did this so I'm gonna cancel here but then when the installation is finished uh, steam will automatically run and install updates now let it install updates even if it does give you the unsupported operating system error that's not terrible since it's going to install updates now once the updates are installed and the error the unsupported OS error appears you're going to go ahead and close Steam come to the Steam shortcut right click on it click on properties go to the target section and this is the target path behind the target path make a space and then type in dash no dash Ceph dash sandbox behind the target path after typing a space. Now what you're going to do is not launch Steam, you're gonna go on to open file location. And then delete tier 0 S DLL and tier 0 S 64 DLL. These kind of like remember of what operating system you're on and you're gonna try to refresh them important delete these launch steam again it will say that something has stopped running but if you close out of that little pop-up steam will open for example if i were to open steam sometimes i have to go down here to the tree click on the steam icon 
close it down here. So basically what I meant is, let me just close the entirely since it's kind of not working currently. Because of that thing. Okay, now. Open Steam. This is the error I meant, or the pop-up. Um, and then if you just ignore it, it boots straight to Steam, so it's not really an issue, but yeah. That's how you get Steam working. And for programs like um, OBS, like what I'm using to record, you're just gonna have to search for last, last OBS Studio. Eight. And it's this version right here. And we're gonna search for OBS. Boom. And you can immediately find these. How do I say this? You can immediately find the files right here. 